Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 11th of April 1968, the Fair Housing Act, also known as Title VIII of the Civil Rights Act of 1968, was signed into law by President Lyndon B. Johnson. The Civil Rights Act of 1964 had outlawed discrimination based on race, colour, religion, sex or national origin. Nevertheless, significant obstacles remained for minorities who were attempting to secure equal housing rights. Despite their contributions to the American effort during the Second World War and the ongoing Vietnam War, racial minorities were still subject to overt discrimination when attempting to rent or purchase homes in residential areas. Organisations that included the National Association for the Advancement of Coloured People and the GI Forum lobbied extensively for federal fair housing legislation, but despite the Fair Housing Act first being put to Congress in 1966, it was met with resistance that stalled its passage. However, over the next two years, the national atmosphere began to change, and in the aftermath of the race riots of 1967's Long Hot Summer, the Kerner Commission report strongly recommended equal housing legislation. On the 4th of April 1968, Dr Martin Luther King Jr., a vocal supporter of the bill, was assassinated in Memphis, Tennessee. His death prompted riots that spread across the country, amidst which President Lyndon B. Johnson urged Congress to pass the bill promptly as testament to King and his legacy. Despite further attempts to delay the legislation, an hour of debate on the 10th of April led to the House approving the bill by a vote of 250 to 172. Johnson signed it into law the next day, just two days after King's funeral. The Act made it illegal to discriminate regarding the sale, rental or financing of housing based on race, religion or national origin.